What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Dewan Lightfoot. I've been getting asked this question a lot lately. Do you need to know programming to be in IT? Or more specifically, do you need to learn Python to be a network engineer? Very interesting question. And in this video, I want to give you some stats, break it down, let you know my experience and my thoughts on it, and let you make your own decision from there. The first thing I want to do is hop on Indeed.com to see the number of jobs in the IT industry. Let's check that out. All right, so if we go to Indeed.com and we look at IT jobs, as you can see, there's 325,000 jobs right now IT related on Indeed.com. These are going to be everything from software positions to network positions to entry level IT support positions to management positions. There's a ton that are specifically just for IT, but there's 325,000 jobs. Now, if you've been following my channel, or if you're new to my channel, one of the certifications that I mentioned a lot about is the CCNA. Currently, there's about 9,000, let's say 10,000 jobs that are looking for the CCNA qualification right now on Indeed. Just, just a general search that searches the entire country. This is just a general search, but there's about 10,000 jobs. Now, if we go to Linux, the Linux skill set, granted, this will be all levels, not just entry level, but senior level and mid-level as well, but there's 61,000 jobs that is looking for that Linux experience on Indeed. Now, if we talk about Python, which is a programming language that may be the hottest, if not one of the hottest, if not the hottest programming languages on the market right now, there's 68 almost 69,000 jobs related to Python experience. As you can see, one of the top jobs is DevOps engineer, network automation engineer, which brings us to another point. But before we go there, I wanna look up one more job search and what I wanna look up is security. Let's just look up security. Actually, let's go Security Plus. Let's go a little more specific. So if we go Security Plus, there's 621,000 jobs that are looking for that Security Plus. When they talk about there being a whole you know, gap in security right now, <laughs> that Security Plus certification is in my opinion, a certification that everybody should get just because it opens up so many doors. But that's for another video. Back to the topic of this video. So with so many job openings that are looking for your Python experience, asking the question is of, do you need to know Python to be in information technology? In my opinion, I would say, it can't hurt. But let's rewind for a moment. Five years ago, if you would have asked me that, I would have said no. But the landscape of networking, which I'm a network senior network engineer, was different back then. Here in 2019, it's totally evolved. Now, when you look at network devices, they're allowing you to connect and configure and manage these devices through APIs, which changes the whole landscape. And then you have Cisco Nexus devices that have Python on box and Linux on box. Everything is changing when it comes to networking and networking one was one of the last, I would say pieces of that puzzle when it comes to DevOps to make the transition to automation. So, when we mention automation, you have to think programming because now in order to automate something, you have to program it in an automatic way. 
In other words, if you have a task that you repeatedly do, now rather than you going in and do it, doing it yourself, you can write a script that automates that process. Not just for one device, but your whole entire infrastructure. So, should you learn programming? Should you learn Python? Do you need to learn Python in 2019? 2019, yes, you can get a job without knowing Python. 2020, it's going to be a little harder. 2021, even harder. 2022, it may be impossible. That's how fast information technology is moving. And I don't want to put fear in anybody's heart, but what I want to do is prepare you for the skill sets that you need to not only land a job and get your next job, but to actually stand out. So learning Python, which is one language, you can learn Perl, Ruby, and one of the another hot technologies is Go, along with some Linux, will only make you a better engineer, developer, um, systems engineer, whatever you're designed to do in information technology, it will only improve your skill set and make you more valuable in the market. There's many people that may think differently, and I would love to hear your thoughts on this in the description of this video. Let me know how you feel about Python, Linux, security, where networking is going, DevOps. That'll be another video that I'll talk about here soon because the, the whole reason for this shift to programming was kind of done because of the DevOps and what it requires to have a true DevOps model in a business environment. When you think of DevOps, you think of development and operations, but there's many moving pieces. Your entire organization is what encompasses DevOps. If you think lean manufacturing, if you know anything about the auto industry and Ford and GM and all these auto suppliers, the line does not go down. There are no outages. The line does not stop. So when you think of DevOps and when you mention DevOps, lean encompasses in DevOps. So the goal for DevOps is to be able to hit the market as fast as possible, update as fast as possible, um, support as fast as possible, continuous feedback all the time, continuous testing. And then not only that, we're going to test and break our own environments to make sure that if something catastrophic happens, we can repair it. So yes, you should learn programming. Can you get a job in 2019? I'll say that again. Yes, you can. But I stress the, the, the longer you wait to start learning Python, Go, or one of these languages, the harder it will be for you to stand out. And I want you to win. So take what I say with a grain of salt, do your own research, hit the comment section of this video, like, share, subscribe, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.